let's see what you guys have coming in the month of April. And I'm just forewarning you, if I say March, I'm so sorry. It's because I'm filming this in March and my brain doesn't know how to compute to the next month yet. All right. So we have two cards that popped out. And then I also want to see what's going on with your guys' love life. So Cancer, love life. What is going on with Cancer's love life in April? I'm hearing tread lightly. I'm not sure what that means. We'll see what the cards say. All right. Cancer, love life for April. Okay, so we have these two that wanted to come out, and I'll take that one as well. Because I'm feeling that that one is needing to come. All right, so let's start with these cards. We have Ascension Flame Liberation. Actually, I'm going to just show it first. And then I'll pop it on the screen. It says Ascension Flame Liberation, a sense of great purpose, high expectations. So... In the month of April, you guys are really, I feel, trying to set the bar for yourself. I feel like you guys are trying to level up, whether that be in your career, whether that be in your relationship, whether that be in your friendships. I feel like you guys are really trying to level up is the only word I can think of. And I also feel like you're trying to look at things from a deeper perspective of really like you're looking at things with a magnifying glass in April is what I'm feeling and I also feel like you're really um, discerning with who you communicate with I feel like you're very like picky in April with like who gets your time who gets your energy and that's that's a good thing we should all be doing that so I think that's really important for you for April to really kind of look at things from a higher perspective and see what's working, what's not working, and really dive your energy into what is working and try to build that higher. So take that how it resonates, whether that's career, whether that's love, whether that's friendship. And we also have magical alchemy. So this says... Innovation, ingenuity, curiosity ahead of your time. Wow. So you guys, I feel like are, okay. You guys are stepping into your power big time in April. You are, I'm seeing the word mercury here in this card. So I feel like you guys in the past have had a hard time with like mercury retrograde and like it really kind of gives you a spin and like makes you feel topsy-turvy and you're kind of like oh my god when is this going to be over kind of a thing but with this month of april and you stepping into your alchemy and you really like getting stronger in your intuition getting stronger in your magical abilities your psychic gifts um you're like i feel going into April with like a curiosity of like curiosity of how to strengthen your gifts and with that mercury message that I just said I feel like with you in April the strength that you come that you the strength that you master in April the power that you proclaim in April is really moving forward going to make you like a totally different person like, I feel you're not going to be as easily discombobulated by energy after April. Like, so Mercury retrogrades, they're going to be, like, maybe a little bit less energetically disruptive to your field. Yeah, and you guys just need to dive deep into your curiosity with your psychic gifts because there is something there. So whatever you're being guided to, whether that's looking at certain things on YouTube, on divination... And all of that, like really dive into that because it's going to be, it, it's it's time for that. It, like um, April is a good time for you to do that. All right. So with your love life, we have always with me. Oh, that's beautiful. 
So always with me. And then we have staying right here. Oh, this is a beautiful message. And then we have fl flighty playing games. So let me go back to always with me. So always with me, I feel like if you... Okay, I'm getting two different messages. So I'm going to start with the people in relationships. Always with me. If you are in a relationship, I feel like this is a deep connection. This is like a meant to be connection and it's growing stronger. I feel in the month of April, it's, it's strengthening a lot and you guys are like getting closer together and you know, this card staying right here. Um, I feel like you could be married to this person. You don't have to be, but it could feel like you're married to this person by how deep this connection is. And it, there could be a potential in the month of April of them announcing an engagement or wanting a mentioning of wanting to marry you um, or a talk about marriage in general or them saying, you know, like they want you for the long haul, whether that's the term marriage or not, like something about they want you for the long haul. You, they're not going anywhere. They want to be with you for a really long time. And the relationship is strengthening in April a lot. And then for those of you who are single, this uh, flighty playing games, I feel like whoever you're entertaining in April, you really need to I don't know why I'm feeling April is not a good time to date for cancer. I could be totally wrong. I'm just feeling into this card and for those of you who are interested in dating, like it's not to say don't go on dates, but like don't get serious with anybody in April is what I'm feeling because I feel like there's a lot of games being played in April. A lot of people are going to maybe be saying things that aren't truthful and trying to like make you think there's somebody they're not and there's a lot of games like of ghosting or you know like you text or call them and they don't return for a couple days that kind of energy i feel like it's a lot of wasted energy so i feel like yeah if you want to go out go out if you want to you know escape somebody or date however, however it resonates for you do it but like don't don't get serious with anything in april kind of like just just kind of take your prospects if you will and then you know after April, you can kind of see like who's really worth pursuing still. All right. So those are your messages for April, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. If you like this, if you resonate, I, I don't even know my outro anymore. If you resonated with this message, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. And I'll see you in another, uh, I'm just, I'm just going to end it. I'll see you in another video. Bye guys. <laughs>